What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today we are doing a very special Kickstarter unboxing. All right, so this Kickstarter was super exciting to see, super interesting. Um, if you don't know who Jeff Smith is, he does a little comic that you may have heard of called Bone. And I've read much of Bone. I still ashamedly have to finish all of Bone, but I've read a huge portion of it and it is glorious. It is such a cool comic that is like basically all ages, uh, maybe, you know, from like 10 up or something. I wouldn't say it's, you know, like toddler or, you know, beginning reading or anything like that, but it is such a fun story and it is huge. So if you don't know Bone, this is my copy of Bone. This is the full color, complete collection, full color, one, one volume edition in a great slipcase. And holy crap, is this thing thick. It is a big old big old thick boy um, but great and it is really good cool color all that kind of stuff so uh you can pick this up for i think like i got it on sale i think i got it through amazon had a sale or something like that for like just under a hundred or something like that a few years back i know it goes on sale here and there all the time but if you like bone and if you like jeff smith and if you're interested in kind of pre-bone this is really weird to be saying but like rebone uh and you want to get pre-boned well he did a kickstarter uh, a few months ago well maybe probably probably like six months ago or something like that because kickstarter takes a while but this is the complete roto bone college strips they have the notes over there 1982 through 1986 so uh finally came in actually yesterday but i have been uh sick and my family has had that sweet sweet plague going around uh where everyone's been sick and i'm kind of the last uh last one getting over it because i held out as like the last one getting sick <laughs> sorry if i'm sniffly uh but <laughs> i finally am well enough to check this book out and crack it open we have Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, you know what? There's some uh, extras in here. We will kick those open real quick. Look at this. Look at these cool little uh, extras in here. Hard to kind of see. So hopefully I can bring down those highlights. So it's like the initial pencils, the inks, the color. And then we got like some comic strips with the evolution of bone on there. And then we got evolution of thorn. And then we got Ted the bug exposed. So got some cool stuff, really cool little flyers in here. Uh, kind of like the semi gloss, super thick paper. Um, honestly, like, a little bit thicker than like regular printer paper. So not like incredibly thick paper, but you know what? I like all the prints and all that, but that is not why I am here for these books. Prints are great, but bookmarks, collector coins, all that kind of stuff, super cool. But what we are here for is the goodness. Oof. And it looks like it survived, but we have Thorn by Jeff Smith. This is the complete proto bone college strips, 1982 through 86 and other early drawings. That is a big old title, but look at that. Oh, it's got like this really nice deep forest green uh, leather cover. And then we got like that foil, that gold foil embossing on there for the title on the bottom, the top. And this is like a, uh, I think it's a sticker over the top kind of a thing, uh, but dang, it's like shining the light on the back wall behind the camera. And it's gloriously boiled in there. And then we got the spine right there and we got a nice little green bookmark. Uh, I don't know if you know this, uh, by like everything in my channel, if you go to my channel, um, 
on Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. I love green. I love like lime neon green. It's like one of my favorite colors. So this uh, green book is glorious. Anyways, so I love, I am a huge sucker for like end sheets and art pages. I'll definitely do like an overview of this book after I actually go through it and read it. But I'll just kind of flip through here a little bit. We got Thorn, other books. Ooh, so cool. Like, he's super wide. I love when they do these kind of like oblong books that are like kind of crazy and not like traditional, like oversized hardcovers. I kind of like when they do these crazy sizes. And I know uh, like Bone's a little bit different of a size too. Um, but dang, this is super good looking. Paper's a little bit on the thin side, but not too bad. Um, with all these bright lights, I can definitely see through the pages a little bit, but it doesn't feel like super cheap or anything like that. Uh, and then we got this big old uh, forward by uh, Lucy Shelton, Shelton Caswell. And dang, super nice. Introduction by Jeff Smith. And then, so yeah, we got like a ton of great stuff in here. The end. And then we're actually getting into like those original pages of like proto bone. Wow, this is super cool to see. And honestly, it looks very, very like bone. Like it's, I mean, all these characters are, all the characters are there. Like the dragon and bone and phone bone and all that. Like the family. Like I haven't read it, so I don't know for sure. Got like the grandma in here like she looks somewhat different but pretty stinking close if you know if you know bone like it's pretty stinking close like this is super cool to see dang so mostly all black and white it's kind of but got good good heavy inks in here like it's good print quality dang this is super nice ah, ah it's flopping so, all right, we'll kind of, let me step closer a little bit so we can kind of see it. But yeah, so we got all these stories in here. So 252 pages, it looks like. Um, and then we got tons of other stuff in here. Really cool. So then we get into some color, which is cool. Some other kind of craziness going on. And then, yeah, let's see. A lot of behind the scenes scans, which is super cool. End notes. We got some more end paper. And then these were the, uh, like some of the stretch goals. So, and I love when stretch goals can be a part of the book, whether it's like gilding. I will say, like, this book would have looked friggin' sweet with some like green gilding on there or gold. That would look really good. Um, but these end, or these stretch goals from this campaign had some cool like postcards that were like, or not postcards, but like little booklets that were put into the book with little pockets. So we got a little phone bone book here. This is super cool. Like, I love this. It's like a little sketchbook, mini comic kind of a thing. I know like, uh, uh, Matt Kent and all of them over at Bad Idea do like these tiny comics, so that's kind of cool. And then let's see, so we got Phone Bone. I think these are three different stretch goals. We have three pockets here, and then we have sorry, Ugh. sorry about that. Then we have the son of son of Gem, Gem. Ah, there we go, son of Gem, and then some cool stuff in here. Yeah. Super cool. I'm, I cannot wait to look through this. Well, back thing on the back there. Bam. And then let's see. Third one. Third one. Just look at my head. This is great. This is great YouTube content right here. All right. Then we have the uh, Bone Meets Mel Brooks. Nice. There we go. Like ridiculous. So here's the back on there. Like super crazy. These are super cool. Like they're, 
it doesn't take much. And like this stuff's like knowing how cheap this stuff actually is to like print, which, you know, is like, oh, it's so cheap to do. It's just super cool. Like it does take a lot of work, but it's cheap to like, like produce, which is super cool to see like adding that, those cool types of pieces as stretch goals to books. I love seeing that when put like uh, sketchbooks and like crazy extra things like that into the back of the book. Super cool. I love that pocket idea. And then these, man, these end sheets are just gorgeous. And so, I mean, nearly 300 pages of, or at least over 250 pages of story, which is super cool. And then you got tons of stuff on the back end. And you got some great welcome stuff at the front, like really, really cool. And then obviously got that bookmark in there and it's got a really nice sewn binding. Like I said, after I, fit, after I am able to read this book and uh, really take it in, I'll definitely do a full overview in the Omnibuddy channel style so that we can all hear a little bit more about the story and find out more about the book and how it relates to bone, which now I'm really going to have to, uh, pony up and finish reading this entire series. Uh, it is a big old book. Um, and I need to finish it cause that, yeah. So I love what I've read so far. Um, super fun story. And I'm really excited to see, like, Jeff Smith is a great creator, super cool guy. And then, I, like, I know he had some health stuff happen. Uh, I, like, he had to go into the hospital, and he still they were still able to get this out. Crazy stuff, super cool. I, like, really fun little prints in here. Like, I, I love seeing the progression stuff. So that's, that's awesome to have. So I think, will these fit inside the book? Ooh, I think... Maybe, maybe they will. Oh, okay, so that these are definitely eight and a half by 11s. So if you're wondering for the scale of the book, it's like eight and a half by 11 pages, horizontal, landscape, whatever. So those will fit in the book actually. So I can just keep them in there, nice. I like when the prints fit within the book and then you can keep it all together. Anyways, that's it. Super cool. Oh, man, I have so many Kickstarters and backer kits coming in. Uh, so much stuff. Uh, I know I haven't been doing a lot of unboxings. I got some OPB stuff coming pretty soon. So that's cool. So I got a big old stack of books that I need to do overviews on. But like I said, I've been sick and work was crazy. So now hopefully it's calming down. And now we're in spring break with the kids and it's all crazy. Everything's always crazy all the time. I don't know. Anyways, I just got to start staying up later and doing some more overviews and reading some more. I've been reading a ton, actually. I'm reading uh, Scotty Young's uh, I Hate Fairyland Volume 2 right now. Volume 1, awesome. Volume 2, really cool, too. So and I, I think he's doing some more still. So, dang, really cool stuff. Definitely want to do some overviews on that. Definitely going to be doing some uh, Thorn and Bone overviews coming up pretty soon. Uh, actually, my uh, bone unboxing and, uh, walkthrough or kind of like overview, not really an overview cause I hadn't read it yet, but like looking, look through first look, my first look of it. That's one of my bigger videos on YouTube. Kind of crazy, but, uh, definitely going to be doing some, uh, bone and thorn overviews soon and a lot of other overviews coming up. So definitely watch the channel, watch my YouTube channel, watch Instagram. Uh, I peruse the TikTok and uh, occasionally on Twitter X, we'll see, <sighs> fuzzy floating. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, uh, Facebook too. Hit me up on Facebook, always on Facebook. Got the group, got the, the page, all that. Definitely hit me up. Uh, let me know in the comments what your Kickstarter that you are so excited about coming out soon is, uh, whether it's live now or it is, um, uh, no longer going, but you're really excited to get it. I know that I am really excited to get Frontier by Magnetic Press. I know I, I work with Magnetic Press on the side, but dang, Frontier was such a cool story. Loved it. It's like the sci-fi chibi book. Uh, the art was absolutely fantastic. The story was super cool. And man, 
we just uh, posted some photos of those slipcase editions and the hardcovers. Chef's Kiss, holy cow, those were friggin' awesome. I cannot wait to get that book and do an overview like immediately because it is uh, definitely going to be probably one of my books of the year. So definitely check out Frontier. I'm so excited to read Thorn. And now I got a really good excuse to go back and finish up Bone after, maybe after, maybe I should do that after I finish up uh, I Hate Fairyland Volume 2. I don't know. We'll see. But that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, do all those things. But the most important thing to do is comment. Like I said, let me know in the comments what your most anticipated Kickstarter is. Uh, drop it on your doorstep soon or ending soon. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.